Today, we're making a dupe recipe of the beef pepper rice from the Japanese fast food chain a Pepper Lunch. It's all about the gorgeous sauces and they are mind-blowingly simple to mix. So, uh, let's go! First, the honey soy sauce or amaguchi. Heat some oil in a pan and then add in the onions. Once the onions are fragrant, add in garlic. Saute over low heat until you can smell the garlic and then add light soy sauce. Honey. And a cornstarch slurry to help thicken this up. Continue to saute this sauce over low heat until it thickens and bubbles. The onions should also be fully soft and translucent. So this is perfect. Now you want to take this sauce and pop this in a blender and give it a blitz so that you have a nice saucy sauce just like this. But to be honest, this part is optional. If you don't want to blend this up, then don't blend it up. And your amakuchi sauce is done. Keep this to one side. Next is the garlic soy sauce or karakuchi. Put light soy sauce as well as garlic in a pan together. Then turn the heat on and keep a low heat. We are going to let that simmer to infuse the soy sauce with all of that yummy garlic flavor. Just about 5 minutes or so or until it starts bubbling just like this. Add ground black pepper. As well as that cornstarch slurry again. Give that a stir and it's done once it bubbles and thickens as well. So again, you can give this a blitz in the blender too, but I'm just not going to this time round. And that is your karakuchi sauce and those are the two important pepper lunch sauces. I made four portions of sauces by the way. Okay, let's assemble our pepper beef rice. If you have an iron skillet like you, you can just use that. I'm just using a boring old pan. So first, you want to plop some cooked rice in the middle of the pan. I'm using Japanese rice here. And then put this on the stove and go ahead and turn the heat on. I'm adding a bit of cooking oil here, optional. And then I'm placing my beef all around the rice. I'm using a shabu shabu beef here, but you can also use just very thinly sliced beef. Putting this on the stove with the rice on is going to give the rice that gorgeous, caramelized, almost crispy bottom. It is actually my favorite part. While the beef cooks, top the rice with some corn. Spring onions. And I personally have to have some cheese. And finally, a dollop of butter. So if you have those fancy sizzling skillets, you can take this off the heat right now and pour your sauces over a pepper lunch style. But if you're like me and you just have a boring old pan, then grab your two sauces and drizzle them all over your rice. So I would say about 2 teaspoons of each sauces would be good for one portion. Adjust according to your preference. Personally, I love that karakuchi sauce a lot more so I actually added more of that than the honey soy sauce. This looks so good but unfortunately we are going to have to ruin this and mixing everything together. And your pepper lunch beef pepper rice is all done. 
Oh, and also I um, forgot to add black pepper earlier, so I'm just adding it right now. But yeah, don't forget to add uh, the black pepper, okay? It's not pepperized without the black pepper. But yeah, just give that a final stir and you are done officially. This is so good and so super easy and fun to make. And guess what? If you don't use up all of the sauces, you can keep that in the fridge and just use it as stir fry sauces the next day or the next couple of days. It's so good. And yes, you can also make this with chicken as well as salmon. So yeah, make sure you give this a go and bye!